<laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying in this video. Anybody who's been following my channel for even a length of time, you guys know what I'm going to say about this buck two fool in the, in, in the video, Bud Crawford. Y'all know what I'm going to say. So now Bud Crawford is running around here saying that Bob Aram not promoting him right. Re really? Really? You buck two fool. This is what we've been trying to tell you. This is what the LDBC been trying to tell you. We've been trying to tell you this for three years, man. You think we, you think us, we finna feel sorry. I'm not finna feel sorry for you. Good. Good. Now, because you said you just a fighter and talk to Bob Arum. So now, hey, talk to Bob Arum, bud. Talk to Bob Arum. See, don't, 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 don't come out here now whining. Don't whine. Don't nobody want to hear you complain now, bud. Because we tried to tell your goofy PG-13 channel. We tried to tell you this, man. We told you Bob Arum wasn't no good for you. We told you that this man cannot promote you properly. We said this. You should have saw the handwriting on the wall when he was promoting when he was promoting Vasily Lomachenko over you. You should have you should have saw the writing on the hand the handwriting on the wall, bud. I mean, <laughs> the poop is on the fan with you. You should have saw when they did a two-hour special on Tyson Fury, and they could barely promote you even once, bud. Think the only thing that Top Rank ever did for you, they did that special when you was fighting Victor Postal. That's it. I think it was about 35 minutes long. But Top Rank, they don't care about you. But this is what we've been trying to tell you. I don't feel sorry for this guy. I don't feel sorry for him. You know, and, and then too, that's, that's what he get for how you snub your nose up at black media. Good. Like you too good to talk to black media. The same black media, by the way, who support you. Okay, same black media who will make videos, used to, I used to. Hell, I even got a Bud Crawford intro video that I was proud of. I don't even play that intro no more, man. That intro, I can't, probably can't even find it. But see, this is what you put on, but see, now you want our support. You want us to support you. But see, now, see, you took the fans lightly. See, guys like you and Keith Thurman, y'all don't care nothing about the fans. Y'all don't care nothing about the fans, and that's y'all problem. That's why you're not well-liked. That's why your pay-per-views don't do very well, bud, because people just don't like your attitude. You got the wrong kind of attitude, don't you? But you was too busy kissing Bob's ass. You was too busy kissing Bob's wrinkly, crusty old ass to, to, to even, you know, think, hey, you know what? These LDBC guys might be right. Hey, you know what? Maybe maybe I should have got on Trio Boxing Talk. See, I knew. I knew right then and there when you refused and would not get on Trio Boxing Talk. See, Bo Mac, he kind of opened his big mouth, but Bo Mac always running his mouth. But see, Bo Mac let the cat out the bag. He said, yeah, man, next time I'm going to drag Bud on here. Bud don't like to get on, on interviews. And Wait a minute. We got to, I mean, you got to drag Bud onto a platform where people openly support you. You got to drag him. You got to force him. You got to talk him into it. See, that didn't end right then and there. I knew the handwriting was on the wall. I, nah, he think he too good. But, you know, he'll do interviews with Kevin Aoli, you know. He'll do interviews with that idiot, Ellie uh, Setback. He'll do interviews with that and them guys. Them guys don't even support him like that. Them guys won't even, I mean, Ellie Setback ain't supporting Crawford. He do, now, Ellie Setback is all up uh, 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 Robert Garcia's ass. Doing Robert Garcia reality shows and all this other mess, man. They not invested in you, Terrence Crawford. The problem is, man, is that you've lost touch with your own. You've lost touch with your own and your own, as your own, we would openly and kindly support you. We have no issues with that. But see, you don't support us. You don't support black media. So with that being said, I mean, <laughs> uh, it is what it is, y'all. I have no remorse for this guy. I have none, y'all. I have none. And whatever he get, that's what he get. That's what he get. You should have known. Everybody named mom been telling you about top rank. Floyd Mayweather tried to tell you about top rank. Okay, he tried to tell you. He tried to put you up on game, but, but you're just too stupid to listen. Well, now, now you feel like now you locked in. Okay, now you probably might, you know, sign another contract because that's what y'all do. Guys like you and Manny Pacquiao, y'all just don't learn your lesson. Pacquiao finally got smart and got out. Finally got smart after Bob Aaron robbed him for all these years. Okay, he was being robbed for all of these years by Bob Aaron. We tried to tell Pacquiao, a little silly self. We tried to tell him, but guess what? <laughs> Same thing. Dang, bud. Boy, it sucks, huh? Sucks. Wow. At 3.5 million, 
you know that 3.5 million that you get that you get per fight but well <laughs> bob get to keep over six i just want you to know that okay so bob give you a cut of what you're supposed to get bob give you a cut of the cut and bob keep most of the whole paper for itself anyway <laughs> oh man oh man oh man oh man this 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 is funny this is funny okay don't, don't don't expect too much sympathy over here but just don't don't expect it until you change your act until you change your act stop stumbling your nose up at guys that come at you man and they just want a couple of seconds of your time man see that that that's 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 your road to redemption right there stop snubbing your nose up okay stop it all media not out to hurt you bud you know what the ldbc is you know the ldbc been been trying to help so you know but see you got all these clowns though all these people man they always got something to say about us the ldbc the ldbc is hard on crawford they're hard on crawford because he's with bob Arum. no no we not we hard on crawford because he's snubbing his nose and look hey, wait a minute wait, wait a minute y'all ain't say that when we said that bob Arum was cheating manny pacquiao y'all ain't say nothing about that either see y'all try to interject the race you know uh you, well bob Arum is a white jew and that's the reason why no the reason why is bob Arum not promoting okay that's why you mean and, and it's not just a, a terrence crawford the black fighter we said that about manny pacquiao we said that about Miguel Cotto when he was there. I mean, I know I did. I know I was consistent. Bob Barham don't care what color. He's been consistent. But see, you guys that don't like the LDBC, you guys are constantly interjecting that race. Now see, but y'all didn't say that though when we were saying this about Pacquiao. Y'all never said that. Funny. So I can't stand you racist pricks. I can't stand you guys. And and, and some of you guys are trying to act like y'all not racist. That's what y'all are. Some of you guys and some of you UK guys. Y'all try to act like y'all don't have double standards and bigotry and racism, but y'all do. And that's why, and, and it's a lot of y'all I just can't fool with. I can't. I can't fool with a lot of y'all UK dudes. I can't fool with a lot of, uh, you know, some of you guys as pro type. I can't fool with y'all. Because it's the same thing. And then y'all think, oh, well, the LDBC, you know, it's the reason they just bring race into it. No. The LDBC, we're not calling people, you know, uh, racial names. Not out here calling people monkeys and black tars. No, we're not doing that. No, that's what we get called. See, I always thought, oh, what's wrong with pro-black? What is wrong with supporting pro-black? See, none of you, none of you guys, none of you UK dudes, none of you, uh, you fair and balanced dudes, none of you guys can ever tell me what's the problem with pro-black. Because y'all don't ever say anything about pro-Mexican. You don't ever say anything about pro-white. You don't ever say anything about pro-Asian. You don't ever say anything about that. But you always want to come on, come at us when we say anything pro-black. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I don't have a problem with anybody supporting what they are. I don't think a person is racist. If a white guy says, you know what, I'm picking a white guy because he's white and I can relate to him, guess what I'm gonna say? Okay, I understand completely. That's what I'm gonna tell him, I understand completely. Okay, I'm not gonna think he racist. Why would I do that? Why would I think that? Okay, the Mexican guy, and I've had plenty of Mexican guys come up to me and say, yep, I'm going for him because he's Mexican. What am I going to say? That's what he relates to. That's what he grew up around. Just because a person goes with a person because they're the same cut, they don't make them racist. It just means that they're supporting their own. It's, it's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing racist about that. But only, only when black Americans support anybody black is racist. <laughs> yep. A Bud Crawford, nice little hole you dug for yourself. But uh, we're not coming to your defense, bud. Nope, we're going to sit back, we're going to let the chips fall where they may, and we're going to let you just sit there and enjoy your miserable time with top rank. We're going to let you just sit there and enjoy all the misery and all the hell that Bob Arum is going to put you in, because Bob Arum's a devil. Yep, he's a straight-up devil. And you right there where you want to be, old Terrence, old buddy. Congratulations, Terrence. Congratulations for doing what you always do. <laughs> sit back and let Bob do everything he want to do.